Hey guys, it's Shadowguard, and this is a review of the new Nerf Elite Series Fire Strike. This is the successor to the Nightfinder. Alright, this is basically like the evolution of the Nightfinder. It's what it's become since however long it was out. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. There's not really much to say. It looks a lot like a Nightfinder, but just, you know, re envisioned with more style to it. It's got. One of those stupid locks down here at the bottom. For some reason, these ties that they're using are super, super hard to undo. Uh, I to get those darts out. There we go. All right, this comes with three elite darts for those who are wondering, because there are. Three different holes or spots where you can put them. So you got two on the bottom, like a regular night finder, and then you can put the third in the top. All right. So first impressions on this thing. It's small. Okay. Um, I have a Maverick right here for comparison. This is a Maverick. This is a Fire Strike. Let me put them together. It is very, very small, and I like that. I like that it's compact. The handle feels really nice. Um, they have this little, like, abscess right here for, like, if you have a bigger hand and you want to put, like, another finger on there. That is really nice because um, I don't remember what gun it was. It was, I believe it was the Jaguar that I reviewed, and I didn't like the handle because it felt too small. This really fixes that, All right? So that's really nice. Um, I don't have any batteries with me to test out the light. But I am, I've watched a couple other demos and reviews of this gun, and the light is no better than the original Nightfinders. So it would be nice I'll, to have like an LED, which I'll probably eventually um, end up putting in there, because I really don't want to saw this off, because this looks really nice. I like the way they put this on. I mean, you, can't, uh, you could saw this off just to get rid of it, but if you put an LED in here, it would be nice, especially because now you have this extra trigger in order to power the light. So you have this one trigger right here, you pull for the light, the main trigger for the gun. That's pretty neat, and I like that. So that way, if I want to shoot and I don't want to have my light on, I can shoot and not have my light on. I also like that they got rid of that stupid like shifting lens deal that they had with the original Night Finders. That was stupid and made no sense. But, um, anyway, let's go ahead and fire this. There's the amount of draw length you get. Uh, the trigger pull, or not the trigger pull, but the priming pull, uh, doesn't feel that much. I cannot wait to add a higher compression spring on this. I think that'll be a ton of fun. Let's go ahead and shoot. Alright, we're getting some nice shooting action right here. Let me shoot to my door. It's about five feet away. Just so I can test how the trajectory and everything works. And this is working very nicely. Yeah, I really like this gun. This is, um, I like how small it is, how compact it is. Um, this would be really nice to conceal. Like, this is something you could put in your pocket. And something else I can stress that was nice is that the holster is, you're almost completely concealing the dart. There's only this tip right here that you can actually see. And that's nice because if you wanted to put this in your pocket, like with a original Night Finder, it's really hard because you have all of that dart sticking out really easy to get the darts bent so that's nice and that's probably gonna stay out like I said I'm I doubt I will cut this off when I mod this gun um there's not much else to say about this it's small it's compact it's very nice it is the fire strike you know so if you got any questions post it in the comments and until next time guys I will shoot this last dart and I'm out thanks for watching